let's talk a little bit about what is Salesforce.com Sales Analytics. So the first thing is it's really built on um, the same fundamental foundation as the um, the um, sorry actually I have this a little bit backwards yeah so let's this is the first so first of all uh, Salesforce.com Sales Analytics is essentially a pre-built adapter that loads data from Salesforce into the Oracle Sales Analytics product. So what that means is that from a reports, metrics, and, and data model perspective, you get all of the applicable Oracle Sales Analytics reports, plus you get Salesforce.com specific reports for areas such as leads. So what do I mean by that? So leads, for instance, are a different concept in Salesforce as compared to Siebel, which is what the sales analytics uh, adapter was built uh, for. Uh, in Siebel, a lead is an opportunity type, or, uh, whereas in Salesforce, a lead is a contact. So we have constructed a new star schema for Salesforce.com leads, which enhances the sales analytics solution. The same thing with metrics, again, all the applicable Oracle Sales Analytics metrics plus Salesforce.com uh, Salesforce specific metrics for areas such as leads. Uh, in terms of data model, uh, we have four star schemas that we, uh, that we have extractors for, leads, opportunity revenue, which is pipeline, opportunity competitor, and also sales quotas. These are the subject areas that we see um, most customers um, getting the most value out of it. And we added sales quotas just recently, so we're constantly expanding the, the product and we're looking to add activities in the near future as well. Back. What technologies does the, does the product use? <coughs> Excuse me. It uses all of the same technologies as Oracle BI applications. So for ETL, it uses Informatica and Oracle DAC scheduling technology. For reporting, it, um, the, uh, the product uses OBIE and we support both 10G and, or 11G. What versions of Salesforce.com does the product support? It, actually, it supports all the way from spring 2010 to the current winter 2011 edition of Salesforce.com. Uh, another question we typically get is what Salesforce.com data extraction methods are supported? And we support two, um, uh, two methods. One is a replication approach, and then the second approach is a direct access approach. Let me uh, show you um, a picture of, of uh, what I mean by that. So um, a lot of customers will replicate their Salesforce.com database using third-party tools such as IBM Cast Iron, DBAMP, and so on, and then replicate that database table for table into a, a replicated database, and then we will, our connector will pull data from um, that replicated database using Informatica ETL. So this is probably the one that we see most commonly, and then loads that data into the Oracle Business Analysis uh, Warehouse, and uh, where we've got Oracle's uh, metadata and, and so on um, from a reporting perspective. But this, is, this slide is really just showing how the data flow occurs. Option two is um, a, um, a direct access strategy. So what I mean by that is there's a number of third um, party uh, connectors available that allows you to actually um, uh, connect directly to Salesforce. An example is DataDirect made by Progress Software and it essentially convert, issues API calls to Salesforce.com in such a manner that um, for other applications, it, it, Salesforce simply looks like an ODBC connection. Uh, same thing, Informatica has uh, a similar approach uh, with a, um, an add-on connector, uh, which uh, is part of Informatica Power Center, which does very similar things. The direct access uh, method is often a little more expensive, but architecturally, uh, it means you don't have to worry, but it essentially removes one, one step, uh, which is the replication step um, in the process. Um, Salesforce also has um, export capabilities, but they usually have restrictions on how much data and how frequently you can uh, 
uh, use the, ex the export data utility. Um, now the the other the other um, key thing, hold you here, point a little integration wise. Um, we have seamless integration between uh, Salesforce.com and the Oracle BI application. And typically the integration points, as we saw from the process map, are into financial analytics and supply chain and order management analytics. Because that's typically where Salesforce finishes and the ERP system uh, begins. Uh, we have a data model that conforms to Oracle BI app standards, um, and which is why we can uh, it's fully integrated. So um, when we look at our back to our process map, we see that um, you have Salesforce.com sales analytics, which covers campaigns, leads, and opportunities, and then you've got Oracle supply chain and financial analytics, and it's all within the umbrella of Oracle BI application. Okay, so if you um, you essentially purchase sales analytics from Oracle, which is pre-integrated with uh, with supply chain financial analytics, and we provide the adapter to load sales analytics into uh, to load Salesforce data into the Oracle Sales Analytics product. So here's some sample dashboards I'd like to show you, and we'll we'll uh, go to the demo shortly thereafter. That so here's a, a pipeline dashboard um, in, uh, that shows strategic opportunities and average sales cycle length by product line uh, from Salesforce. Uh, on the demand gen side. Um, this is uh, a dashboard showing new opportunities by month, new opportunities by source. Um, many of you may recognize the kind of the, the data structure, how um, Salesforce um, generates names and things, source being actually campaign. Opportunity revenue by source, which is again campaign, and then close rate from purely from an opportunity perspective. Uh, we have, uh, you have a, a account reporting in terms of um, how much um, we've gotten from uh, from different accounts, top accounts from a sales perspective, in terms of opportunity revenue that's currently in the pipeline plus number of open opportunities, uh, accounts by industry, and then a regional view of your of your customer base accounts by region. Um, again, from an opportunity perspective, you can look at products by revenue, and this again becomes a great integration point into your ERP system. So I can look at um, products by opportunity revenue, and then I can also look at, on the right-hand side, I can look at from an from a, um, ERP perspective, well, that's great, I've got all this pipeline, but let's, let me look at my orders for that particular product and how we're doing. Uh, campaign effectiveness, number of closed deals, and close, again, on the right hand, you've got closed revenue, so you could actually connect to your ERP system and do closed revenue, meaning where we actually uh, created an order and so on. And then a campaign scorecard. And then we were talking about leads, leads being a, uh, a different object in Salesforce as compared to SQL CRM. So we've got some, um, we've got some uh, lead reporting uh, as well in terms of where are, we, uh, where are the leads coming from. Mark marketing campaigns, the web, phone, and so on. And then sales effectiveness, um, bread and butter, Salesforce stuff, win rate and lost revenue, average deal size by quarter. 